Blog Talk Radio. It's the Ed Show, not the Ted Show. It's the sit back, relax in your bed show. It's the Ed Show. Come on to the Ed Show. You can call to Ed on the Ed Show. Hey, everybody. Well, it's the Ed Show. It ain't no goddamn Ted Show, I tell you that, goddamn. Now, we're here for the final show of 1993, not 1993, it's 2009, <laughs> 2009, was the final show for that year right here that we're in right now. Now, tomorrow at this time, it will be 2010, and then we'll be off to another spectacular year of America in the world. But I know a lot of you guys are wondering, it ain't 7 o'clock on Thursday night, or it ain't 10 o'clock on Thursday night. It's noon where I'm at, and 3 o'clock where you're at. So we had to have an early show tonight because I figured most of you kids would be out drinking and driving, stuff like that. Hold on, Franklin's calling down the other line. Hold on. Well, uh, yeah, I'm the co-host, number one night. I guess I should talk while the Ed's on the other line. Not often radio show hosts will just leave their show. Huh? Yeah, the Ed. What's up? Yeah. Yeah, I was filling in for you a little bit there while you were talking to Franklin. Oh, yeah. I was trying to tell him. Call, I, I don't even know if he even heard me. Yeah. Did you hear me tell him to call the other line? No, I didn't, I didn't hear him. Uh, yeah, maybe he hung up. Maybe he's going to call the show. I don't know. Because I'm in my car right now. I'm not even home. I'm on my way home. Where, where were you? Yeah. Went over to the store. Had to go to the driver license branch and pay a fine. And uh, Why'd you have to pay a fine? Uh, I forgot to register my vehicle on time. Oh. So I was driving around with expired tags on my on my car, and police man stopped me. He didn't give me no ticket. He just told me there's a warning, and he gave me a warning and a yellow ticket, and it wasn't for no money. He said, just make sure I get this done within 10 days, and this is the 10th day. So I said, I better hurry up and get over there. Well, that's nice of him. Yeah. Yeah. So today's an important day in history of our show and of all the whole Damashek Network conglomeration. We, uh, as you guys probably know, I've been doing a lot of stuff, man, all through this year. I run games. I try to be on every show I can be on, and, and you know, I jog 10 miles a day. And, I don't, I don't, know, think, you, I don't think you, do, uh, I don't think you jog 10 miles a day, do you? No, I drive 10 miles. Please. Oh, okay, drive. Yeah. Yeah. To listen. Sometimes, well, you know, when I was having those problems when I was hurt, the doctor told me to, you know, run at least two miles a day. But I try to drive them. I drive them because uh-huh. I can get it done a lot quicker. Yeah, I you think know? that's equivalent, either jogging two miles or driving 10. I think that's no, the same. Yeah, yeah, that's about, that's about the equalization of it. Yeah. It equalizes out on that stuff, you know. So that's why I want to uh, say that I have really, really liked this year that we had everybody that called the show and that they was on the show and they thought about the show and they wrote about the show and they talked about the show and they told other people about the show and everything else that they did for the show. I appreciate them for it. It's always appreciated when people appreciate what you do. So, you guys know, I've been trying and trying and trying to do this Oreo cookie challenge. And last night, I was on a show called, uh, a lot of you people probably never heard of it, it's called uh, LCS Hockey Show. Yeah. 
it's uh, number one nine. He actually got a show. Don't too, don't do too well in the ratings. <laughs> him and uh, him and Larry, they got a show, and uh, they uh, they talk about hockey and conspiracy theory and stuff like that. But uh, I had, I was at nine thousand nine hundred ninety-five cookies last night, and I had five cookies laid out on my computer desk to eat them. And I ate like three of them and had two left about. And the goddamn baby ran up and grabbed one of them cookies. <laughs> yeah. Now, the Ed, when it happened, I thought you were just being silly. I thought you were doing a little bit because you just wanted to yeah. prolong things in, until today, you know. But no, the, the yeah. baby really did take the cookie, huh? The goddamn baby, man. Yeah. Got the cookie. There's a soccer ball in one of my trees. How did you think? <laughs> I don't even know. I just pulled up to my house and looked up. There's a soccer ball right up in that tree. That's awesome. Who would play soccer in a tree? Birds don't play soccer, I don't think. Yeah, they have small legs. Mm -mm. So I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so now I only got one more Oreo cookie to eat. I'm looking at the Oreo I picked out. Yeah, and I think I'm going to eat number 10,000. A lot of people said, Ed, you're crazy. You can't do it. People would stop me on the street. Ed, man, this is just outrageous. This is just unspectacular. What are you doing? And uh, I'd say, listen, man, I'm under control, man. I'm calm with this. I said, man, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. And I've been careful. They always say, watch what you eat, and I've watched every one of these cookies go down my belly. A lot of cookies. Yeah, so now I'm going to eat number 10,000 right here on my show. It's a brown Oreo cookie with white stuffing in the middle. It's double stuff. And, uh, Would you like your theme music? Yeah, we got theme music for this spec. Tocious occasion. Oh, 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 ice cold milk and an Oreo cookie. They forever go together with a classic combination. When a dark, delicious cookie meets an icy cold sensation, like the one and only creamy, crunchy chocolate O R E O. Yep. All right, here I go. Are you guys ready? Yep. I can't hear you. Yeah, we're ready to get it. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm eating it. It's in my mouth. You chew it up. Mm. I show you like oil. Mm. Yep. 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 Ah. Ha. I did it. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Ed. Yeah. What an accomplishment. 10,000 Oreos in one year. Now, have you suffered any adverse effects of eating so many cookies? Have you gained weight, uh, blood pressure, diabetes, anything like that? Nah. Huh? No, I thought balloons and stuff would fall out of the sky when I did this, but I don't no. see <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no confetti, no balloons, nothing. Just you ate a cookie. Yeah, I ate the 10,000th cookie, mm -hmm. and that cookie, I would like to take it to the Cookie Hall of Fame once it comes out. No, I don't I don't think that's a good idea. Well, first of all, I don't think there is a Cookie Hall of Fame, and then I don't know if anyone would want to see it after it comes out, as you say. Uh, you don't think there's a Cookie Hall of Fame? Probably not. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I got to get out of the car now. Walk in here and go to the house. And, uh, got a, we got another important situation on hand. You want to know where it is? Uh, what is it, Ed? We got a thing called the Eddies. It's my award that I'm giving out to all my friends. Hold on. Uh, 
see what's going on in here. Got the baby and all these people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Alright, yeah. Well, alright. I'm going back outside. There ain't nothing going on in here. Ah. Uh, check, ain't nobody home. Yeah, where's the baby? He's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Somewhere. I don't know where he's at. I told him to stay close, trying to help. I'm out to go outside and look for him. All right. But you were saying the Eddies. Now, is this going to be a first, uh, the first annual Eddies? Like, are you going to do this every year, hand out awards? Well, yeah, as long as I got a show. Oh, I can't fine. give them away every day. Now, now what, if people win an Eddie, what will they receive? Like a little trophy, a statue, or what? I'll see the Eddie in, in the mail. I will mail them the official award. But what is the official award? It's what I give them. But what are you going to give them? An Eddie Award, man. Why aren't you going to listen? Yeah, I, I've been listening. I was just trying to get to, like, what is the Eddie Award? It's an award that I'm giving out to people who have done spectacular feats of compassion in America on my show. All right, well, just look for it in your mailbox. I'll win an award. Yeah, if they win an award, if they really want their award, they got to give you the address so you can give it to me, and I'll send it out. Ain't no problem. All right. It ain't never no problem giving out prizes. Never. Yeah, I suppose not. All right, well, this is very exciting. I'm sure everyone, you know, can't wait to hear who wins the Eddies. So uh, uh, do you have a big list of nominees and categories and everything? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you also... I faxed you a list, well, not faxed it, I emailed you a list yeah. of awards, nominees, and stuff, too, so you can even read some. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead with the first category and the first nominee, and then I'll tell you who won. All right. Well, uh, we'll start put off with the... Put it on your paper, too, so you know. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it on the paper. All right, let's start out with uh, a kid I'd never want to see at a red light. That's the first category in the 80s. A kid I'd yeah, never want to yeah. see. It. Now, why is that a category? Well, as a kid, I wouldn't want to be driving in my car and pull up to a red light and see him and look over and see him right next to me. I just wouldn't want it. All right. All right. Uh, the nominees are Red Sox 33, Like a Backwards K, and JNN. It was a tough category to choose, man. These are three guys that I really wouldn't want to see at a red light. I really wouldn't. I mean, they've all got different reasons why, but one guy, if I pulled up at a red light and this guy was right there, I think I'd have a fit. And uh, the first winner is Red Sox 33. Wow, Red Sox 33, the winner of the first Eddie Award. Yeah. Kid I'd never want to see at a red light. How about that? No, don't want to. Don't want to. Hope I don't. Huh. Um, so that was the first award. He's not here to accept his award. But, you know, and if one of you guys are listening and you win an award, you can call in and we'll talk to you about your award. Ain't no problem. Yeah, so, ain't no problem. I got yeah. one. Okay. The best sports team. Oh. It's either Texas Tech, the Colts, or the New York Yankees. What about the Pittsburgh Penguins, Ed? They won the Stanley Cup. Why don't you get them in there? Uh, in another category. Oh, okay. And, uh, and the winner for the best sports team is the Colts. So I'm hoping Shock. that Peyton Manning will call and, and you know, I'll send him his uh, Eddie Award. Ain't no problem. You know what, Ed? I think I'm um, just looking at the switchboard. I think Peyton Manning's on the line. I put him on. No, I'm just kidding. He, he didn't call. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, are you sure? Check it again. Uh, let me see. Yeah, he's not I know. I know he listens sometimes. No, I don't think he does, but, yeah. So the, so the Colts, the best sports team of the year. Yeah. Are they going to win the Super Bowl here at the end? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, that's good. All right, we got the worst sports team. That would be either the Boston Red Sox, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Wait a minute. Now, why or are the, the Los Penguins? Angeles Lakers. Why are the Penguins the worst sports team? Jesus Christ, 
awful, just terrible. It hurts my stomach when I look at their logo. It's a penguin. And, uh, yeah. And the worst sports team of the year, Boston Red Sox. They win it. Wow. Because those guys cry about the Yankees all the time. Man, we've had Red Sox 33 and Red Sox both win win Eddie so far. Yeah. So hopefully, Ted Williams will call and get his award here. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Will you be send? Oh, I don't think Ted Williams is going to call. But uh, will you be sending an Eddie to uh, Fenway Park? Yeah. Yep. There's a dog. What the dog gonna chase me? Hey, Ed, yeah, How about I? Uh, I'll take a category now. Let, let's give out the okay. Eddie for coolest of the cool. Coolest of the cool. Yeah, and the nominees yeah. are uh, Mario Speedwagon, Face Ventura, and Elevation. Cool. Yeah, those are three cool dudes, man. What what makes these guys so cool? Man, they just cool, man. They smooth. They get out here. They get all the ladies. Do all kinds of crazy stuff, man. Mario Speedwagon from some other goddamn country. And got, like, women from other countries. Oh. And then, you know, Elevation. He's elevating his game to, to get those girls, man. He just turned 21. He's doing all kinds of stuff. And Faith Ventura, he down there in New Mexico, getting Mexico girls and American girls. You get them all. Oh, that's something. Yeah. So the winner of the coolest of the cool category is Elevation. He won the coolest of the cool category. Elevation won? Yeah. Yeah, he's cool because... See, he, he's trying to take after me and get a radio show and get a bunch of women and have a lot of money. Is he going to start eating cookies? He might. He might. Yeah. only bad thing about Elevation, he's from Philadelphia. Yeah, that's not so cool. Yeah. yeah All well, right. Congratulations, Elevation. Cool. It's yeah. Cool. Now we got another... Another category called the biggest snob. Biggest snob. snob. Yeah, snob. S N O B. He's a snob, man. Always talking trash, getting on my nerves, making me mad. The first one is UMass Bill. <laughs> a lot of people know him from the UMass Demonstration Show, that Bonstable broadcast thing. He he's a snob, man. He thinks because he hangs out with Jackie Kennedy's cousin. He knows everybody, you know. And the next guy is Equiism. This kid is on the message board like he knows everything, talking bad about trades and this and that. This guy, he's a snob, man. He thinks that his toilet bowl don't stink. Oh, no. Well, that's what he says. Yep. So, and then the, the final guy... Also from that Bonstable broadcast, man, you mad <laughs> damn a shake, man. Thanks. This guy's such a snob trying to tell us that Massachusetts basketball means anything. Now, you mass. Come on, man. This guy's a bum. Yeah. The Ed doesn't like Boston things. You don't like things from Boston. Mm-mm. No. And the winner of the biggest snob is UMass Bill. UMass Bill? Yeah, he's the biggest snob. Because he called our show one time and got mad that you put him on hold forever. Uh. And he wants to tell me how to run the show. That Oh, you need to have more than one caller at a time and all this and that. All right, you must feel you. You wanted Eddie. Way to go. Yeah. All right, we already did last night an award. We gave out an award for the worst lookingest girl on my Facebook page. Yeah, the worst lookingest girl. There was only one choice, and she won. And if you go through my Facebook page and look at the girls' pictures, you can see that no one can beat Skylar Assass. I just found a nickel right here on the ground. Jesus Christ. Uh, about two of them. Uh, quarter. Quarter and a nickel. That's 44 cents. Yeah, just about. Yeah. I picked up, put it right in my pocket. So Skylar Sass won the worst looking this girl 
on my Facebook page. Yep. Well, we got another one called The Best Guest on my show. And those would be the guy from NationalChamps.net when he called in to talk about football. Jeff Mayweather from the Mayweather clan who's uh, about to go knock out Manny Pacquiao. And then we had the Ultimate Warrior. Hello? Yeah, yeah, they had him listening oh. quietly. Yeah. Oh, I thought you hung up. Yeah. So those three kids right there are for the best guest of the year. And uh, the winner will be the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, how about that? Yeah, he, he was yeah. a great guest. Yeah, yeah he was. Yep. And... Uh, I wish he was around, but he's not. He's well, he's a busy guy. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'll probably call him later on at night and tell him he won. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. He'll probably like this better than the WWF belt that he used to have. Yeah, or maybe uh, his Slammy. Didn't, didn't he win a Slammy award at some point? Or Remember those awards they used oh. to give out? Yeah, he might have won that. I don't know. don't know. All right, what other category you got? Let's see, we got, um, oh, the the weirdest kid. The the Eddie for the weirdest kid. And, and the nominees are uh, Cousin Brandon, Security Guy Irv, or Number One Nine. Wait a minute. Why am I, why am I nominated for weirdest kid? First of all, you're a veterinarian. You don't even eat no food. Yeah. You're always sick. You always got problems. Always busy. I I've never seen somebody who don't eat meat who's busy and always sick. <laughs> yeah, it's that's hard three, to do. Yeah. That's three unbelievable combinations. That's like a combination platter at Taco Bell. Don't yeah. even make sense. Yeah. You know. Then uh, security gay herb. Jesus Christ, man. This kid just won a Kia Soul for three years off the radio station out here, and he won't even let me drive it. I told him, let me borrow it for a year, and he can have two years on it. That seems fair. Yeah, he won't even do it. I'm not even wanting half the time. I'm just wanting a quarter of the time. He has three years on it. That's one at one year. Yeah. You know? And then the other guy, Cousin Brandon, this guy, makes rhymes that don't even rhyme. I've never seen a poem kid who don't even know how to make nothing rhyme. All he does, I mean, the kid is on this Twitter thing 4,600 times every single day. Blowing it up, blowing it up, blowing it up, blowing it up. So, the winner for the weirdest kid of 2009 is Cousin Brandon. <laughs> nice. Yeah. He's in a garbage can for all things. That is true. Of course. It is weird. Yeah. Of course, this kid has to be the weirdest kid in America. Uh, I'm sure he'll be excited to learn that he uh, he won an Eddie. Yeah. All right. Well, we got another category called the biggest baby. It's the guys who just baby. cry. They cry babies, man. M. J. Martin. Uh oh. Little J. Big feet. <laughs> now, what does Big Feet cry about? Yeah, he cries all the time. <laughs> A new wrestler. <laughs> oh, four nominations, all right. Yeah, it was four nominations because these guys was all big babies, man. All of them. But the biggest baby out of all of them, MJ Martin. Uh-oh. Well, well the Ed, yeah. I, I think we have uh, someone on the line who might want to talk to you about this. Who? Let's see. Uh, MJ Martin, are you are you there, buddy? Yeah, happy New Year, fellas. I, yeah, there uh, he is. I wasn't expecting to be accepting... Such a such an honor. I don't know. I don't really even know how I became eligible to get the biggest baby of the year award. Yeah, because you kept talking about how good your teams were and how you were going to beat us, and then you always end up losing. You're a big baby, man. That's what happened. 
Well, you know, the uh, that fantasy football season was a was a fun season. I uh, I offered my congratulations to Stock Norm. Um, no, nah, but then I know. saw what you wrote on it, and then you erased it real quick. He wrote congratulations, <laughs> fag, and then he cut off the fag part. <laughs> but on my on well, my part, I seen it. He didn't plead. He wasn't quick enough. Well, well, do you guys know that we apparently have to send uh, our buddy Craig Dodge something since he won that league? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he'll get some, he'll get something out of it. player was Brandon Marshall in the playoffs, and he, Brandon Marshall got auto-drafted for him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He was very upset that he got Brandon Marshall, and then it, he had 21 catches against me in the playoffs. But, uh, yeah, yeah appara- apparently we will have to send Dodge something. Uh, I, I wasn't aware of that, but, yeah. So, yeah, we made something. that deal at the beginning of the season. I'm very busy. Cause I thought, but I thought I was going to win. That's why I, I made that deal. <laughs> yeah. I thought everybody would send me something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, actually, yeah. I think uh, I think we might have another caller on the line here. Hold on, uh, one second. Craig Dodge, are you there? Now, Mike Dell, why would you possibly be surprised that you need to send me something? Uh, yeah, I, I must have missed that stipulation in the contract. <laughs> so, uh, what do you no, think about hey, 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 hey Stockton, what do you think about M. J. Martin winning the biggest baby award? Well, I've always been a fan of M. J. Martin's work, but uh, I suppose. That's not entirely undeserved with the oh, uh, the way that, right. yeah. But uh, but yeah, I'm a big fan of our friend up there in Portland. So I'm not. I think he probably deserves an Eddie. Good for him. Way to go. Congratulations. It's all yeah. right, No question about that. What's that? Now we got. Go huh? ahead. Go ahead, the Ed. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to read another another uh, another uh, Eddie award. We got the best looking this girl on my Facebook page. Oh, all right. Well, go ahead, Dad. This will be good. We got Danielle Guinta. I know you guys remember her from the beauty contest, right? Yeah. And we got Emma Kempler. That girl, we still don't know if she's real or not. But Jesus Christ, I can't help it but look at her every goddamn day. <laughs> and then Major Minority Wife. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know if you should say. I mean, it's nice that she's, she's a on woman. my she's on my Facebook page. She she's one of my friends. I just can't remember her name. I just keep calling her Ooh La La. Yeah, I got me. I got majority minorities wife in that category for sure. Yeah, the winner is major minority wife. Oh, that was it. It's that kind of uh, you know, you're talking about another man's <laughs> wife. Should you be saying these things? I mean, it's a compliment and all, but still. Listen, how long is that marriage really going to last? <laughs> oh, I see. How long? How long do you really think that that's going to last? A black girl and a and a and a and a Chinese guy? Come on, man! Are you kidding me? <laughs> so you're just setting the table for when it falls apart that you can flip it. Exactly. Uh, exactly, man! I got this all planned out, man. <laughs> all right. She won that one. Uh, now we got good. got the best Fed Games player. You know, I got a bunch of games that I've been running for a few years now. Yeah, all kinds. Yeah. But hey, the end. Maybe you should uh, you should say goodbye to Craig and uh, MJ Martin first because uh, we can hear a bunch of stuff in the background. Oh, all right. Well, you guys got to go, man. It's an important show. All right. Just give me a <laughs> hold. I'm I'm happy hey, to listen. Happy Absolutely. Year, hey, yeah. Happy New Year, fellas. So there, there they go. Right. MJ Martin, the biggest baby uh, of the year. He won the Eddie, and our buddy Craig Dodge. Who I, I think Dodge is nominated in a category coming up later, right, Tia? Yeah. Right. He might call back in. Yeah. Years. I don't know. Yeah, he's on what, what is this? What was this one? Oh, the best head games player. Yeah. We got the Ryan. He's from Canada. He plays in every single game we got. Then we got Havoc. He plays all the time and always comes up in the top. Fat boy. He won a trophy before. The lonely end of the rink. He won a yeah. baseball baseball contest yep. and in cards fan he won a contest so out of those five it's a tough choice but I'm going to pick cards fan because he was the first person ever to win one of my games that's right so he's the best Ed games player and he won now he, he won an Eddie yep now he won an Eddie now we got the worst Ed Games player. 
We got Rensko. He's always in the bottom of every goddamn this guy got, man. Equiism. He always is on the bottom, too, man. Even though he thinks he's great, he cries about it. Number one exploder. This dude talks about he knows hockey and all this stuff, and every hockey game he's been like last. <laughs> uh, he's exploder for real. JNN. He's always he's always consistently bad in the games. And then Pan Keto. Pan Keto tried to do good in one game and then fell apart and then he's just fallen apart ever since, man, like he's just lost his pants. You know? Yeah. So, but the worst head games player of the year goes to number one Splozer. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's the worst he's the worst of the worst, man. Yep. You got any awards you got to give out on your page? Yeah, we've got a few more over here. Uh, the toughest kid, the Eddie for the toughest kid, and the nominees right. are Joe, Cardwiz, or Microsurf. Now, once again, Ed, what makes them so tough? Man, have you heard these guys talk on this message thing? <laughs> um, these I guys, man, I, I don't know, man. I think that I think that they use weights on their keyboard. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't know if that would make them tough necessarily, but yeah. Hey man, I wouldn't want to get in a tumble with any of these three, man. Wow. But, yeah. Yeah, it's intimidated. All right. Yeah. But the winner of the toughest kid, Micro Surf. Micro Surf, the toughest kid. Yeah. Sounds like a tough name, man. I mean, that <laughs> just, just scares me. Micro Surf. I mean, I don't know what the heck that is, man. Sounds like a very small surf. Yeah. So, uh, congratulations, know. Biker Surf, the toughest kid. Yeah. Uh, Check dot com message boards. How about that? Um, how about another one, the Ed? We got a uh, worst co-host, worst radio show co-host. All right, go ahead. Uh, the nominees are uh, Accu Zach. Yeah, he's bad. Your buddy Zach Rosenfield, who uh, co-hosts the Dave Show. And then we got. Hey, wait a minute. We got number one nine for the Ed Show. Yeah. Well, no why am I nominated for worst co-host? Listen, man, I didn't make the nominations. I, I told think you, you did. Thousands and thousands of these envelopes were sent out to people all around the country, and it's just what came back. Can't be mad at me. All right, and the final nominee is uh, number one nine for the LCS Hockey Radio. Well, first of all, that's my show. I'm the star of that show. Larry's my now co-host. You, now you co-host behind Larry on that show. All right. So the worst the co-hosts are either Aki Zach number one nine or number one. Who does the monologue in your show? Larry. That's the host to me, man, because Ed Nightman, he didn't do no monologue for no Johnny Carson. That is true. Yeah. So you've been nominated twice. Let's see. The winner is... <laughs> you won. That's the one. <laughs> you won for the Ed show. <laughs> wow. What an honor. Yeah, you want for this show right here. <laughs> I, I can't wait to get my Eddie in the mail. Yeah, just give number one nine your address. Yeah, I'll give it, I'll it right after the show. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I got guy. another one. I got another one called Kid Who I Could Knock Out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, do you know the nominees for that one? I, I have it here if you want. No, give me the nominees. Uh, Avalanche Sackic fan. Nick yeah, Isaac. I, I knocked him out easy. Yeah. Nick Asaski, or uh, yeah. our buddy the Dave, yeah. Dave Damashek. I, I think I could probably beat them all three at the same time, but the kid that would be easiest for me to knock out is the Dave. <laughs> all right, and there you know he is. why? Why is that? Yeah, you know why? Because he's white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, there you go. So, uh, so would... the Eddie Award winner for kid I could knock out, the Dave. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't no problem. <laughs> All right. Here's a, here's another one called the best gambler. We got nominees are Philly Billy Rules, Ed Miller. Who's that? Me. Oh, okay. Joe, MJA, or Major Minority. And the winner of the Best Gambler Award is 
Oh, man. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Two time Catholic champion. Uh, hey. Well, you know, I'd like to thank everybody who helped me win this award. And, uh, you know, I, I, it was a very tough competition. I had to knock out all the competitors. And I, I'm wearing my belt right now. And I will probably be wearing my belt for a long, long time to come. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good job, yeah. Thank you. Make sure you give me your address after the show so uh, we can send you the Eddie. Yeah, oh, I ain't no problem. I'll give it to you. Okay. And uh, the worst gambler, this award will be given out to the worst person in gambling competitions around America. We got New God 1021. We got Little J. We got AccuScore Kid. We got the Dave, and we got M.J. Martin. And let me open up the paper. The worst gambler, Little J. <laughs> Little J, he's the worst gambler by far. Everybody knows that, man. I bet you, I bet you, he got 99.9% .9 of the vote. Little J, you are not the gambler. That's what Maury Povich would say. <laughs> That's right. Yep. All right, let's see what else we got. We got the best musical kid. Yeah, best musical kid. In that category, we have only one person. There's no one else who could be the best musical kid other than this guy right here. And that's the Dick Bank. Yeah, Dick Bank. He had no competition. Every entry form we sent back had his name on it. Nice. Yeah. Unanimous selection. Dick Banks, musical kid, Eddie yep, Award. Yeah, an anonymous selection. That's right. Yeah. All right. The next, you got any categories on your paper? Yeah, I got a few more over here. Uh, let's see. Um, Best Reader of the Ed Times. Yeah, who you got for the nominees? The nominees are The Whale, Face Ventura, and J.Y. Jr. Oh, those are three good subscription kids. They've all got lifetime subscriptions. But the winner of the Best Reader of this year's Ed Times is The Whale. He is the best reader this year so far. So, he's a good guy. He'll be getting the Eddie for that. Oh. All right. The whale. Yeah. Let me, give a, uh, let me go here to the biggest homer. Okay. You know what I mean by I mean homer, not the longest home run. Yeah. But the guy who just is always on his team's nuts every goddamn minute. Kind of like you and the Colts. No, not at all. Because I'm objective. I want them to lose sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I didn't like the Tony Dunn. Yeah. He would know when I called and I told him to make a change, they let him go. That is true. So the biggest homer is DMQ, Laker lover, Cody Ryan lover. Oh, Cody Ryan got a Cody Ryan season bang. Yep. Then we got the babe with this Pittsburgh Steeler nonsense. Just ridiculous. Then we got UMass Damashek with this guy. Being, this guy's trying to force feed us Massachusetts basketball. And he's kind of stopped with the, uh, with the Patriots stuff because he knows that the Tom Brady ain't no goddamn good. He knows it. So the winner of the biggest homer going to be are you ready for it yeah I'm ready you mass damn shit the biggest homer I've ever seen in my life man that guy <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing all right now we got an award what other award you got on yours uh, let's see, I got the uh, best kid that uh, you met in Las Vegas, Dad. 
Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And the nominees Best are, uh, yeah, you met a couple kids in Las Vegas. The nominees are the Remus, uh, the Ryan, or uh, MJ Martin. All, I mean, I had a good time with all three of them kids, man. It was all three good peoples. You know? But I got to say, the number one guy, Uncle Remus. He was Uncle Remus at that time when I met him. Yeah. Changed his name. He changed his name to the Remus in honor of when people call me, for some reason, the Ed. So he won that one probably pretty much because he was the first one, too. Yeah. Sometimes when you're the first, you, you end up winning. Yep. Yeah. All right, here goes one for the worst message board kid. Mm. And there was just one clear-cut winner to me. This guy's been nasty to me every time he tries. And that's Nick Asaski. <laughs> oh, and the guy hates my guts. <laughs> yep. So he's the worst message board kid. All right, the next category is the best message board kid. This guy is a good kid. And there's three people that we nominated for it, so the kid that wins it will be the best. We had Bonaducci Sucks, Socknorb777, or Steve from Alabama. Yeah, Gravity Denied. That's his. Yeah, Gravity Denied is his name on there. And the winner of the best message board kid is Sock Norm 777. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's Craig Dodge. Yeah. Is that who it is? Yeah. Yeah, he won. He just called. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> he didn't even get his award. <laughs> I, I think he's still on the line. Uh, you want to try and talk to him again? Oh, yeah, put him on if he's there. Oh, uh, hold on. Talk, talk. Hey, Dodge, are you still there? Hey, yeah, hey, guys. Wow, quite the honor. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I'm, I'm speechless. Thank you, Ed. Very excited. Yeah, you, you, you won the best message board, kid. You've been on the good side, the bad side. You've been everywhere. <laughs> this is true. I have been everywhere. So, Well, thank you for the honor, sir. All right. Yeah. Get, All right. Your, get your award in the mail. Four to six right. weeks. <laughs> All right, Dodge. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, so how about the uh, best message board kid, Craig Dodge, Sock Nord 777. And, uh, and the Eddie for the worst message boards kid, Nick Asaski. Yeah, he won that one. The, here's one. You got any more awards on your page? Uh, a couple more. Uh, most inspirational kid. All right, go ahead. Uh, now, now, why do you have a category for most inspirational kid? It's the person I look up to. Oh, you look up Can to I say, man, this kid, this kid is a great kid, man, and, and the kid is someone, if I was ever going to grow up again, I would want to be like this person, probably. Well, there's only one nominee in the category. It's the winner. Uh, Street yeah. Dreamer 83, the most inspiring yeah. kid. Yeah, that guy, man, that guy wrote me an inspiring letter one time, man, and, and it touched my heart. And I said, well, this guy, he's just not just a, a faceless name or a nameless face. Yeah. So he's everything, man. The guy, the guy did it all, man. He he he, he tries in, in the games. He he tries like like Hertz rent a car when they're number two and they always try harder, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He's like he's like Burger King because they can't never catch McDonald's. He's an inspiration, you know. So I say Street Dreamer '83 is the winner of that one. Congratulations, Street Dreamer. Yep. All right, what else we got? I got a category for worst kid named Dave. All right, go ahead. Uh, the nominees are Dave Parker, uh, Dave Poye from Full House, or uh, your buddy the Dave, Dave Damashek. Huh? You guys already know, Mr. Dave. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Why is the Dave the worst kid named Dave? This guy has a brand new television show, and he's not called me once. Well, I think it's a podcast. I don't think it's a television yeah. show. 
and they were having trouble with yeah. their phone lines. They, they couldn't call you, you know. Oh, uh, they got them fixed. They even AccuScore kid emails me. Oh, Ed, hey man, we want to have you on the show. We're gonna send you some cookies and all kinds of stuff and nothing. Mm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm sure you'll be. Dials on me a baseball mitt, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. And a bowling oh, ball. Yeah. Bowling ball, he owes me all kinds of stuff, man. Yeah. I don't know, he's the worst. <laughs> he's the worst. Sorry, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. You got any more on yours? No, I think uh, that's the last one I have over here. All right, well, I got a few more to go. We got Song of the Year. I know you guys have heard all my songs. But there was one song that stood out from all of them. And the winner is Major Minority singing his song about Tina Fey. Play it, number one nine. Uh, you sure we have time? I, I don't know. Uh, kind of busy. A I said hit it. Hit it. Tina Fey has balls. Tina Fey has balls. Tina got some big ass nuts. And the heaviest hell, so she needs a man. Grab a saw and make you know what's up. Always wins in poker cause she needs a man. Huh, let me tell you about this chick I know. Uh, she packing like a gigolo I mean she got two testicles And they furry as a cold on an Eskimo Don't think she hot, he gets lots of grief Cause she don't wear panties, she wear boxer briefs She carries them around like they two trinkets In the cold weather get serious shrinkets But they never too small, she got two balls Some describe her as a white blue ball And Tina Fey, yeah Tina Fey Anything I said, I say to her face And I don't care if she like what I say Cause I punch in the nuts and then run away Alright, that's enough that's Yeah, I want to get that show Because I want to call that one kid That I talked to on the Adam Carolla show one time Because he uh -huh. on that show called 30 Rock Oh, he is? Tracy, Tracy Morgan Oh, Tracy Morgan, yeah. um, I want to send him that song So he can get it right to the same Yeah yeah, I don't think you want to give that to her. Yeah, you probably don't want to give that to Tina Fey. Why? I don't know if it's, you know, a complimentary song. What if we said it to Sarah Palin? <laughs> well, yeah, she might enjoy it, but uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so don't know. congratulations, Major Minority. Yeah. Song of the Year, yeah. apparently. Now we got one called The Worst Show on the Damn Network. Uh -huh. We got a lot of shows on this network now, and the worst show is the Barnstable Broadcast. Well, they're they're cleaning up in the eddies. That's like their third eddy, I believe. Right. Pieces of crap. That's why. <laughs> oh yeah, please. Yeah. So the Barnstable Broadcast wins again. They're not here to accept their award, but. Maybe I can hand it over here to the trash man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you call their show all the time? Man? Every week. <laughs> well, then wouldn't you have a, uh, if it truly is the worst show, wouldn't you ha have a hand in making it the worst show? No, I, 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 I lighten up the ratings. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I don't call, they don't have a show. <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations. Now the best show, here, here's, here's one, the best show that no one listens to. All right. I mean, this guy probably has like six listeners, but his show is great. <laughs> it's called The No Name Show by Bonaduce Sucks. <laughs> he has a lot of interesting guests. He keeps switching his days, though, and you never know when he's going to be on. It's kind of like Elevation Show. Yeah. But Elevation didn't have enough shows to qualify for this. For this category. So, Bonaduce Sucks has the best show that no one listens to. Maybe next year he'll have a show that someone listens to. I don't know. Alright, so then next 
Got a few more awards to go. Oh, a lot of Eddies. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a whole spectacular. Favorite caller to the Ed Show. We got Gravity Denied or Steve from Alabama. We got VJ from Australia because he called from the future. And then Uncle Remus. He hasn't called in a while. He might be locked up. Yeah, probably. And the winner of the favorite caller to the Ed Show is Steve from Alabama. Wow, congratulations, Steve. Yeah, he won that one. Yeah. He usually calls oh, yeah. while he's out driving the big rig. He's out, you know, Yeah, that's trucking. dangerous, man. That's yeah. dangerous. He's out there driving and still calling. Yeah. Yep. Put his deliveries on hold to talk to us. Yep. That's why sometimes when you go to Walmart, you can't find something. Steve from Alabama got on his truck. <laughs> that's right. He's too busy talking to the Ed. Yeah. Now we got the worst caller to the Ed show. We got Acu Score Kid. The now, now why why is Aki score kid one of the worst callers? Man, he hasn't even had me on his new show yet. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Then uh, Little J, Little J, Little why yeah. is Little J a bad caller? He calls all the time. Yeah, a lot of people always say they don't like him. Oh, all right. And then security guy Irv. Oh, Irv's the best. I love Irv. Well, you should have threw in some more votes because he won as the worst caller. Oh, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I, don't I have a feeling you're voting a lot because everyone. No, I, I didn't say nothing. No. Nope. And uh, oh, listen, Pastor Reeves is having a, a a get together tonight for the New Year. Oh. I want everybody to know at his church they'll be having cocktails and uh, adult adult content after ten. He said what, to is, tell everybody. what does that mean, adult content after ten? I don't know. He just said he said all he said he would like all women to wear lingerie. Now that doesn't that doesn't seem very religious. I don't know. He said he's gonna he's gonna bow down to him. I'm sure he will. Is there a he cover charge? Gonna, he, yeah, seventy five dollars to get in. Drinks. You can get drink tickets, five dollars a piece. And uh, it's a 10 drink minimum. <laughs> well, <laughs> Pastor Reeves. Yeah. What he said, he said he wants to check out every woman's temple. <laughs> no, yet, I don't think that's true. I don't he think said. that's true. Yeah. Well, how, how many more Eddie categories do we have, Ed? We're, we're almost out of show. We got two more Eddies to go. That's a lot of Eddies. All right. We got the talk show host. I'm sorry, uh, your phone clicked out there for a second. Did you say the best talk show host? No, the worst. Oh, the worst talk show host. Worst talk show host. Spanky Brown. Number one nine. Now, how can I be the worst talk show host when I was nominated for worst co-host and I won? I I can't be a co-host and a host, can I? Now, you lost for the co-host of my show. You're nominated for the LCS Hockey Show for the worst host. I, I don't like this at all. All right. And then we got the Dave from the Dave Damashek, whatever, the debacle. The Dave <laughs> Damashek debacle. That's, That's not what it's called. That. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the Dave Damashek Show. That's all it is. It's not the debacle. It's the Dave Damashek Show. Listen, it's called Triple D, Dave Damashek Debacle. That's what it is, Triple D Show. So it's the and Dave, the winner me, and worst, Spanky Brown. Yeah, and it, this was a tough category, man, because a lot of people hate this guy, <laughs> Dave Spanky Brown. A lot of people. And by a lot of people, you mean you. No, I like Spanky Brown. I voted, I voted against him being the, the uh, worst talk show host. So that and means I you voted. My, you voted for either me or Dave. That's what you're saying. Yeah. So my and, and it was a close <laughs> category. We had listen. Spanky Brown had three thousand three hundred and ten votes. Number one nine had three thousand one hundred and eighty six votes, and yeah, the winner yeah. with three thousand five hundred and four votes. The Dave. <laughs> well, 
That's not nice. I, I, I think you're cooking the books, Ed. I, I don't believe for a minute that you sent out 10,000. Uh, yeah, know, I got them all back, too. Yeah, I, I don't believe that. Okay. Yeah. So the day, well, that, he's a he's a three-time winner. He's a three-time Eddie winner. He's got worst talk show host, uh, worst kid named Dave, and the kid uh, that you, the Ed, could knock out. He won. He got a he got a turkey. <laughs> or a hat trick, yeah. Yeah, hat trick too. All right, the final category for this Eddie's award this year is best talk show host. We had our buddy Craig Dodge from the. From the uh, what's this show called? Uh, vertically striped socks. Yeah. Then we had David Stein, a new a new guy. Man, this guy's he been loved David Stein. Yeah. Yeah, he's been he's been coming up with all the new new things in the world. I don't know about and that. And then our, our last best talk show host nominee is. Let me read this. Uh, I can see it. Uh, Ed Miller. Hmm. Yeah. Surprising. From from the Ed Show, and we had let me see, we had ten thousand, we had seventeen votes for Craig Dodge, we had eight votes for David Stein, and we had nine thousand nine hundred and seventy-five votes for the winner, Ed Miller. Wow! Congratulations, yeah. Ed. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody who participated in this award because, I mean, it is very hard to put together a quality show every single day of the year. I mean, especially you know, when you're you're saddled with the worst co-host. We've got, yeah, that, that, that makes it hard, man, when i got to carry the show all the time. It's like i got to put 52 people on my back and carry them like a deck of cards, yeah. you know. So sometimes, you know, but it's all worth it in the end when everybody listens and they all, you know, have a good time. That's all I gotta say. I'm the best talk show host. You know? Quite the honor. I won two awards: best gambler and best talk show host. Yeah, that's so uh, the Dave won three my, though. So that's... I'm gonna say my award out first. <laughs> yeah, I imagine I you will. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's quite the spectacular, the first annual Eddie Award Show. Yeah. Yep. And I want to thank everybody who had a part in this. And it was a good year, 2009. We'll be on our normal time Thursday, 2010. Man, I'm not eating no more Oreos, man. I, I did it. I ate 10,000 of them. What do you think? I'm impressed yet. I didn't think you could do it. Now, do you, do you have uh, written, documented proof that you've eaten 10,000 of these? Like, you, you have a notebook where you keep track of everything? Yeah. Uh, maybe you should send that over, and we can get that verified somehow, that you actually ate 10,000. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll send you over the calendar. It has okay. all the days and then how many cookies I eat for each day. Right. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Now, have you decided what you're going to eat next year? Because there's been some debate whether it be cheese or Hershey Kisses or something else, chicken wings or chicken legs. I don't know, man. I'm still I'm still debating. Maybe we can have somebody on the message board think of something for me to eat. Okay. It's got to be food, though. Yeah. yeah I don't eat, like, mothballs or nothing like that. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be good. All right, well, it's been a good year. I'm hoping everybody don't get drunk and drive and... You know, this is the best time for Franklin because he gave up driving 15 years ago. <laughs> so he can drink all he wants. And he's moving January 3rd, so he probably won't be on the show no more. He'll probably be dead. <laughs> well, yeah, and, that, uh, that's not nice. Uh, yeah. not nice. And uh, I want everybody to have a happy new year. And don't let him talk bad about you. Now it's time to say goodbye to Ed and all his friends. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to listen to my show. So get yourself a couple paychecks and go and buy a hoe. Y'all come back now. You hear? Oh, 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 ice cold milk and an Oreo.
old cookie. They forever go together with a classic combination. When a dark, delicious cookie meets an icy cold sensation, like the one and only creamy, crunchy chocolate. O R E O. 